Hello, hello. I am here with the gorgeous e. Katrina Walter, one of my best friends and co-author on The Power of Visual Storytelling and our next book that we are working on as well. That's right, excited about that. Mm -hmm. We're taking a day off today to see Oregon because Missy Katrina here has lived in Oregon for how long? Probably about closer to 14 years now. 14 years? 10 years. A lot. 14 years. So she's a proper Oregonian. I moved here when I was 10. 10! <laughs> 10! So where are we today? We are at Cannon Beach, um, Oregon, mm -hmm. and beautiful Woo! views. Stunning day. A little bit cloudy, but sun is peeking out. Mm -hmm. And it is just perfect because we know that Oregon coast can be unpredictable and a little temperamental. So I think we got lucky. Like some people we know in life. <laughs> no. <laughs> but we got, we have like this good traveler karma though. But like, I feel like we the do. blue sky kind of comes out for us when that we travel. That reminds me of our trip to yeah. Ireland in, the, <gasps> yeah. it was in April. And everybody kept saying, the weather's gonna be horrible, it always rains. And we showed up and it was like this, if not even sunnier. And it was fantastic. Actually, this um, Cannon Beach here reminds me a little bit of Cliffs of Moor, you think? <gasps> yeah. Not as cliffy. Not as, <laughs> That is, but still beautiful. I mean, look at that. The rocks over there, the rocks over there. Um, we'll get some good close-up footage the, of it. We can splice in. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's um, it's I think nice beach, blue sky, blue water. We're gonna get closer to the rocks. We're starting up top, and we're gonna get closer down. So, stay tuned. We'll take you with stay us. Stay with us. Ah. Before we go down to the beach, I wanted to share with you a little bit more of the view from Ecola State Park and. It is absolutely beautiful. Ecola State Park actually stretches along nine miles of coastline and offers a ton of different hiking and recreational opportunities. So whether you wanna pack a picnic lunch and hang out on the beach, go for a scenic hike, or like us, kind of spend a bit of time and gawk on the absolutely gorgeous views, I highly, highly, highly recommend a visit. Hello, we are in the parking lot. My fabulous, uh, I was gonna say she's the driver this time, I'm usually the driver, but I get to <laughs> be the right. passenger. Um, we just finished, we're in Ecola State Park in the parking lot, and um, beautiful sunny day. Now we're gonna go to the next lookout point, right? We're going to the beach. That's right. Oh yeah. So. Dip our toes in the sand. In the cold water. Feel the chill of the waves. I'm poetic, what can I do? I mean, when you say it like that, how could you not want to go? <laughs> All right, <laughs> signing off until we see you again. <laughs>pretty sun is out in full steam as you can probably see it's I'm okay with the shades this one's being a good sport here <laughs> but it's pretty it's definitely cooler down here so you definitely need to like pack accordingly um, we're still wearing sneakers but I think if we really went in we probably would need like flip-flops and stuff that's right that's yeah right. and what was that you were telling me before you said something interesting earlier about never turn your back to the water in Oregon what, yes what's up with that? Um, 
the ocean is pretty rough so every year we have um, a number of people that get literally washed off the shore by the waves so one one second you stand there and the second the, the second second you're gone um, so you need to always be aware and always watch the waves I mean I've never heard that before but if you say it I believe it well and I tell you yeah. what my husband is a uh, true Oregonian and he grew up on the coast and that's the first rule that every kid grows up here knows so I'm just repeating what I was well told. good to know I don't want to get washed away to sea in Oregon but just for the record we don't have our back to the ocean right now we have our shoulders to the, the ocean, ocean is that way. the ocean is beautiful. right there it's beautiful some people are surfing so there's a number of surfers out today even though it's a Thursday um, hitting the waves which They're I actually think like Thursday is a good day to come because I bet it'd be really crowded here on the weekends that big so that's right that's right but come in earlier and come in during the week if you can yes highly recommended <laughs> so we just got back in the car from Cannon Beach yeah this one's upset she didn't have her scarf for pictures <laughs> I gave it to her though so that's kind of cute beautiful I mean come on seriously look at it I give good gifts look at look at this gorgeousness of this car I got it from Banana Republic too look at that you can have a pull Good dot, you can have stripes and it's nice and warm. It's like choose your own adventure in a scarf. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, sorry, we digress, but uh, we really liked Cannon Beach. We thought it fabulous. was be uh, like breathtakingly oh, naturally beautiful. So, so just rocks on one side, canyons on the other waves just the, the sound of waves all was so peaceful and it was so easy to get here like we Absolutely. paid five dollars to get in so that's that's not bad but at all per car you pay five dollars per car yeah. which is not bad and you can mm -hmm. um have you can drive to different outlook areas including this beach where we're parked right yeah now. so we did two stops in here for the five dollar fee both that's had right. like really easy parking lots but i could see it being a bit difficult if it's like very crowded peak season that's right um but yeah we got sunny weather it's chilly but we we enjoyed it so we did i think two 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 thumbs up uh seal of approval two from jessica and katrina yeah now on to lunch somebody's hungry i am too i'm just like <laughs> okay bye <laughs> Now made our way into the adorable town of Cannon Beach and we are off in search of lunch. But first, just a little bit of exploring. We want to get our bearings and see all that this adorable town has to offer.
are on off of Highway 101. Uh, we're not exactly sure where we are right Between now. Between Canyon Be Beach, Beach and Tillamook somewhere. <laughs> Just after Arcadia National Park, right? That's right. Right? right? That's right. Um, yeah, but we've just found the most beautiful, like look behind me, views of the coastline. It's, there's your head. <laughs> Still getting the hang of this. Uh, but yeah, we, we just found a little pull off on the highway and we found the most beautiful it's views. It's and yeah, we're just taking a few minutes to enjoy it. So yeah, that's it. Hugs. <laughs> driving so she's not gonna look at the camera okay in Oregon. <laughs> uh, yeah we are driving in Oregon along the 101 on the water it's really pretty um, but this one over here is like every other word is like F this F that <laughs> no she's not happy that there's a very very slow car in front of us who's literally driving like 10 miles slower than the speed limit so I don't blame her but she's not happy and every time we can pass a car comes so we can't pass and it's just one of those road trip moments but I'm enjoying it because I can film out the window and she's driving slow <laughs> but she's not very happy she's we'll have places to be uh-oh 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 oh shit <laughs> oh shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I usually drive. That's all I'm gonna say is I usually drive. Well, the guy, guy is now behind us. <laughs> She's now behind us, and somebody is now happy. <laughs> so now we can resume back to our original programming. <laughs>
Hey. <laughs> it's very, very quiet of you. <laughs> because you are very energetic. That's why I, I am. surprised that you were I like, am. oh, hi. Yay. So we're at another Oregon hotspot. Where are we right now? We are in Tillamook Forestry Center on Wilson River. <gasps> very cool. We have a uh, babbling brook or a river behind us. Yes. A little um, bit of waterfall. It's pretty low right now in summer. Usually it rises way higher uh, during winter. But um, yeah, it's, it's nice and swimmable. Very, uh, the water is very clean. You can see all the rocks all the way down. And there is a bit of a sort of a waterfall over there. Just a tiny bit of water rushing through, so, so yeah, it's, and there's people swimming right there, so. I know, I heard them, they're like jumping for joy. It's a hot day today, so it is. It's we really lucked out with the weather here because it can be temperamental, but this is like perfect, like American hot summer, it's wonderful. The only advice I think we would give is that you have to get here before five That's because right. we got here a little bit late. And yeah, if you want to see Forestry Center, yeah. um, get some detailed information around the area, get here before 5 p.m. Yeah, any other words of wisdom to share? No, come here and enjoy. Hello, hello, and greetings from my flat in London. Yes, I am actually now back in London and I am editing our Oregon road trip travel vlog my first ever vlog and you know what I realized I realized that we actually forgot to record some closing remarks so I wanted to record some quickly now so we can conclude this vlog our day was incredible we did a total of five stops starting at Ecola State Park followed by the beautiful town of Cannon Beach we did a very quick stop along kind of the road. We just pulled into a random neighborhood where there was a public beach so we could get some pictures of Haystack Rock. And then we went down to Arcadia State Park. And then lastly, Oswald State Park where we found the most epic um, kind of scenic kind of, uh, what is it, pull off on the highway where we got some just incredible and almost like petrifying uh, kind of pictures of the ocean because there's literally like, you know, maybe the barricades were like two feet high at the kind of rest area stop. So a little bit scary if you have kids, but you know, obviously <laughs> we're, we're able to restrain ourselves and not lean too much over the edge. So that's all good. But all in all, we just, we had just one of those incredible days that travelers dream of, you know, two really close friends who don't get to see that much of each other get to spend an entire day together kind of you know in the car chatting catching up on life you know really exploring a new area together so it's my kind of perfect kind of day if you were to ask me um and and i think you know i would highly recommend all of the five stops that we did if you are planning a road trip in oregon they were all lovely you know, beautiful pictures. And we honestly probably could have spent more time at each one, but I mean, the entire day was, we spent, you know, probably like six, seven hours in total doing all of those stops because we really wanted to make it leisurely. We wanted to walk around, kind of hike, um, explore, take tons of great pictures and just just enjoy it and not feel rushed so i would definitely recommend giving yourself an ample amount of time um you know i didn't do the driving but from what i could see it doesn't seem kind of that tough in terms of driving you know how some of these like scenic uh coastal highways are like a little bit treacherous and don't really have barricades and you know except for some of the kind of viewing point areas everything was I felt kind of very safe, very protected, um, and you know, didn't seem kind of that treacherous. So that's good. Um, but yeah, otherwise I would say also we felt really blessed with the weather we got. Beautiful sunshine, blue skies. I mean, I've heard the weather in Oregon, especially on the coast, can be a little bit temperamental, but given that we went in, in what is it, end of July, um, we just were really, you know, we were really blessed with amazing weather. So um, again, you know, if you want more details on where we went, links, a bit more information, I have actually 
posted a link to my blog post on the Savvy Bostonian, which is my blog, um, in kind of the link down below. And if you like this content and want to see more of it, I would love for you to like and leave a comment on the video below because, you know, again, this is my first time trying this, so hopefully you like it. I know it's really long, but I, I actually selfishly really like longer form videos on YouTube. I actually don't have cable TV in London, so I actually, um, pretty actively subscribe to vlogs, especially travel vloggers, and I actually watch them like I would watch a TV episode, so maybe that's just me, but let me know if you like kind of this longer form travel content. I would love to get your feedback. And then uh, last but certainly not least, I'm also going to include some information about the camera that I'm using as well as the video editing software. If you're at all interested in vlogging, I actually found it like a lot easier than I thought it would. I would to kind of record all the content, to edit it, and um, and put it together. So it wasn't really that tough. So um, kind of don't don't be kind of scared if it's something that you're interested in. And yeah. So I think, I think, I think I've covered everything. Um, I think what I will end on is just a huge shout out and thank you to Ekaterina and her family for being the most amazing host in Oregon for, you know, this road trip day that we did, plus all the other amazing days that we had um, in Oregon together. It was great to kind of see uh, kind of Oregon through your eyes and some of the spots that you love the most. So thank you again And I really hope that we can continue our tradition of doing some more epic Travels we, we've probably gone easily to like 10 to 15 places together over the years I think I might be exaggerating there, but I, I think if we added it all up It's 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 a pretty big number and we've done a few road trips as well So now that I've started this vlog, hopefully we can uh film some more together in the future because I think we have a, a lot more fun when we're together. Um, so on that note, I will say kind of goodbye. I hope you enjoyed our travel vlog and talk soon.